What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off happened last time, we successfully captured Georgia and put down the Georgian Rebellion and we have eyes on to attacking our own territory, our former territory of Yerevan. Um, we're going to do some consolidation of our troops first. Actually, you're not going to be able to completely join them. Um, but then that'll be the Georgians knocked out and then we'll have a, a full stack towards the east. Although we are not at, well, we're not at war with Persia. We're actually trading with Persia. Not to you stop my Hasharim from Hashashin. Right Hashashin. Hashashin. <laughs> Sounds like Sean Connery. Oh, where's my the Hashashin? Can be <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got this army here. We could attack up into the Russians. Maybe. Maybe that's a plan. Maybe we sell this army over here and take Crimea. But then again, that might be a more... It might be more useful for the Austrians to have it than us, because that may draw the Russians into war with Austria, because Russia wants Crimea. Hmm. Then the Venetians are still blockading us in Venice, but I don't really care about that. Not that I can do much about it anyway. So Ankara's got a Sultan's Observatory, so hopefully they're going to get some more... They're going to get some more priests... We're building Pasha's Palace to get more oppression, and we're also upgrading this Turkish this um Turkish bath up into a Seraglio to get more happiness. Because we are building a second school. Which is very much necessary. So we've got two turns to ring bayonets. Sweet. So let's head into With two schools, I can have one rush down towards fire by rank, and I can have one picking away at industrial technologies. Or I could have them going for philosophical technologies because they are very good for growth. But I need to upgrade my industry. Or at least some of it. I've got enough towns to make it worthwhile. And once the Georgians are out of the picture, we will only have... An, we'll have an enemy... Oh, no. <laughs> do I call in my allies? I do, but the Marathas are going to... Oh, they are joining them. So the Polish should probably going to go for Moldavia. To be honest, that simplifies the front, the problem at the front significantly. Although the Polish have no direct route towards me unless they sail around the Med. I mean, the Persians, we're friendly with the Persians at the, at the minute. So they shouldn't, shouldn't sail up to attack us. Oh, there's the Moroccans. Their, their army that was sat near Crimea is going home. They never wanted to land. My, oh, the Marathans. The Mughals, sorry, look like they're going to send an expedition somewhere. I think I might want to occupy my port in Baghdad, just in case that's the, the sneaky plan the Persians have. The Barbary States have left the French port alone. Well, one Marseille alone, which is handy because it means that we can then use it. It's got a governor's residence in Greece. Let's upgrade this iron workshop. Crimean Carnate's been destroyed. Their spy, their, their skull has been stealing our tech. Um, let's build the Ordnance Factory just to un keep this to unlock it on the on the map. See, Moldavia's not been invaded yet. They've got a meager yield iron mine and a farm, and they get one village. They don't, they, they don't even get a port, so it's not a territory I'm that bothered about holding. Okay, let's do some consolidating. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I think what's going to happen is going to move my demi cannons in. This is already, you're going to go back to Ardbill. I'm going to leave them to replenish for a bit more, just to help get this resistance to foreign occupation down, because if I leave, they will almost certainly be very unhappy. Yeah, minus seven. So until I can recruit some troops there to actually keep them happy, I'm not so sure I want to recruit a bunch of useless cavalry. So this might be a bit more of a empire management episode. 
Get some symbol. Let's go for. Mm. I think I might go for a Sultan's Observatory because they are so close to Ankara. When they start spitting out gentlemen, I can easily get them to where they're used useful to be. But elsewhere, like Damascus, I don't I don't care about recruiting gentlemen there. So Damascus is producing a good amount of cash. Actually, no, Greece. Rhodes. You thought I forgot, didn't you? Sweet. So you try to make peace with Venice. I don't think they'll take it, but... No. I don't want to give you Greece for peace. Why would I give you Greece when I hold all the cards? The damn fools. Yeah, it's going to take a few turns. But again, we are upgrading the Happiness Building in Georgia, so they may that may no longer be a problem. The, the Happiness may jump up by a couple of levels from that building, so it won't be a full seven turns. So I'm just marking off this episode as being recorded in, in my book. I've got a little notebook next to me with all with my schedule laid out in front of me, and I can I cross them off as I record episodes. Because I wasn't going home, but now I am going home. So I'm going to go through a bit of a recording session at the minute. <laughs> I'm going to be recording a whole bunch of episodes today. But it's good, because I enjoy this game, so it's not a problem. Oh, good job I didn't occupy... Good job I... Good job they're sailing away from my port at Baghdad, at Basra. But it also means they are going to attack someone else. I mean, I don't like that one bit. Oh, good. <laughs> so it's, it's the Italian state sending a chap up to France to try to steal their tech. Genoans are chasing down the French. But that's good. Whoever wins out of those two will... Well, we'll still trade with the victor, so it's not as though we've got our, all our money riding on one person from winning. I mean, the Barbary states have totally interfered with our trade to Genoa. <laughs> there is unused so we've got ring bayonet. Perfect. This... So we've got ring bayonet. So you immediately go on to military syllabus. European Doctrine gets me some cool infantry and troops and cavalry, so I definitely want that. And it's it's it, it's its own unique thing for the for the for the Ottoman Empire. So we've got another scholar. Research reveals new. Yes, I know about research. Kayaseri, let's get you researching. Basic steam pump. Or oh, do I have you? No. Start going for bare bones industrial tech. And I can upgrade you to a college. But I think. I don't know what's good for repression. Because it's dragoons in other regions. It's dragoons for Eastern Europeans. So I might end up just building. Some horsemen to act as a bit of a garrison to help offset the unhappiness from the agent. So we've got another Hashashin. So let's send the Hashashin up towards Moscow. Just to keep an eye. Because you don't need to actually go into the city to see what's going on. Although all agents can carry out It's like we don't need to actually infiltrate really, because we can actually, we can still see a lot of what's going on anyway. It's just to get line of sight. So George's got the Turkish bath. See, they're currently green. So maybe. Just maybe. Nope. Six. So I can't upgrade this anymore. Can't upgrade that, but I don't think I'd even want to. Let's probably upgrade Greece with a new barracks, actually. No, no, don't worry about... Yeah, just keep them going with the new barracks. 
we need to wait for military syllabus to be researched then we can upgrade a upgrade to a drill school in Cairo which gets us Sekban Janissaries, Beylik Janissary Musketeers, lots of good stuff basically, Royal Mameluke Guards they look a lot like Mamelukes <laughs> they are Mamelukes except they're so they're a bit slower because they're heavy cavalry but the defence is higher, the morale is higher and the melee attack is higher Oh, where's the... There's a specific unit that I think of. When I think Ottomans, I think of... Oh no, sorry, it's the research tab I want. Where are they? I think it's the Nizam Sedit Janissaries, I think. If we even get them, actually. It might be. It's not the Royal Janissary Guard. It's not... These garrison riflemen, it's not these janissaries. Is it the military academy? They've got the fezes on, and that's what I think of as the classic. It's definitely not them. Okay, just pick the lowest one on Army Staff College. See if I can see them at all. I like these guys, but they've got red jackets and... Ah, they must be different. I'm thinking of something else, not these guys. Unless they're red on the campaign map, the battle map, but even then I still think they're red on the, the unit thumbnail. Um, let's try peace with Britain again, because we're currently only unfriendly, so if I do peace and trade... So if we did peace and trade, then, you know, we're not at war, we can both make money. What's not to like about that? But of course, being Brits, we have a very strong view on how the world should be run, and we disagree with your opinion on how to run it. <laughs> huh. But yes, I'm feeling a lot better now. I mean, the Austrians are now going to attack me. Well, first they're going to attack Moldavia. They're not going to attack me at Istanbul yet, which is good. Because I want to build up my economy. Because right now it's very, very weak. Oh, hello. The Polish have attacked and captured Gdansk because that border turned red. Go on, Murata, do something. Do something already. At least we're keeping colonies on side by trading with them. They're trying to steal tech again. But that's okay. The rat are, I'm surprised they didn't lose their ship. They were lucky to get it back. Mm, the Mughals are raiding me like the devils they are. But the Portuguese aren't having any of that. The Venetians are expanding the strength of their blockade. The Genoans are, are going to attack the Barbary states. Oh no, they're going to blockade the... Rather than killing the French, the Barbary state ship outside their port, they're going to blockade the French at Turin anyway. If possible, during this episode, I would like to have the attack on Yerevan to knock out the Georgians. One of your sea trade routes is under attack Ooh, from an enemy fleet. I don't care. It's got another Eastern scholar. The scholar is a. Okay, let's build one. Let's build a observatory here. I'm not getting as much cash as I'd like. But I suppose it's because everywhere's being raided. This is why tax income is so important. At some point I need to just make a decision overall just to start upgrading mansions across the board. Because right now, that's kind of what's throttling us, I think.
I'm gonna build an ornamental tulip gardens. Trade it ready, trade it ready, trade it ready. And the tell has got some cavalry garrison troops. It's still researching. Okay, growth is still well, it's reasonable. Especially in Ankara, it's grey. Jerusalem, it's low. Damascus is okay. Baghdad's good. George is good. So much so, now I'm actually going to tax you. Sweet. Yeah, I think now, this next turn, I need to not build anything. Well, the next few turns before I get my new industrial tax, I want to not upgrade things so I can start to upgrade the government buildings in my regions. It's again the bonus to tax income and more. Oh, that's not good. Well, this is why we have that force in Athens. So the temptation is to move it immediately down to Cairo, because that's where they attacked before. That's probably where they'll attack again. But at least this time we have bayonets and square formation and artillery. So it's become even more important than ever that I knock out the Georgians. Well, that's not good. I don't like what you're doing, Persia. I mean, if Persia goes for me, then I'll go for them relentlessly. Oh, let's have a... Oh, no. Oh, good. <laughs> They're landing in Spain. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do brilliantly, Morocco. If they did take Madrid, I would. that would be hilarious. But I doubt their attack will be successful. So I think a good win would be if I move my troops out of Athens up towards Istanbul. Well, first we need to check if the Venice if the Venice blockade actually prevents any transit from that sea. No, it doesn't. Good. So let's take my army, such as it is. Get them to Thessaloniki. Let's embark the troops. Sell my navy down to to uh, Cairo. Disembark the army. Get to Cairo. Then let's take one of these ships. Sell them back up to Thessalon Thessaloniki. Let's make sure we fill up this port here at Beirut. I don't like what the Persians are doing, unless they're at war with someone that makes sense. Poland and the pirates. Yeah, no, I think they're going to... Well, if they land and take some of the Barbary states, that'd be quite funny. But I think they're going to come and attack me. And the new Spaniards have Corsica. Fascinating. Um, okay, so we've got some money... Let's upgrade the Bay's mansion at Cairo, because it gives us... Does that give us better garrison? No. Bay's mansion at Cairo. Actually, financially, the one at Damascus and one at Baghdad. Oh, the Baghdad is Pasha's palace. I have to go for government the government building and go for the ordnance factory at Cairo to get ready for... Actually, I might go for the ornamental tulip gardens. Because the Austrians could be... They've got a Swiss line. They could be getting ready to start to attack us, but to be honest, I think they'll probably go for Moldavia first. Natural causes. One of our Eastern scholars. Was it natural causes? Was it really natural causes? 
Lots of good stuff's been built. Let's do our natural check on Tbilisi. Have they got over it yet? They really haven't. God damn. Let's try bring this chap up. And can I recruit? Well, I can't recruit anything on this low money. Well, let's then turn and see what the Persians and the um, Brits are going to do. Please go. Oh, I was going to say, please go join your garrison, your amphibious assault army. Please drag down their movement. But no. Sadly, they are still on the move. Oh damn, that's a lot of ships. Lost sight of them somewhere in the med. The French are continuing their drive. But that's okay. Yeah, the Austrians are starting to... Oh, that's a trade port. That's annoying. That's a, that's a useful port. Don't worry, soon you will pay. So we can recapture my frontier territories in the Balkans. Oh yes, Poland. Actually, no, I'm at war with Poland. That doesn't help. Well, it provides a, f a threat that the Austrians have to deal with. So, still a win. Okay, did the Persians attack... Tunis. I mean, they definitely... Maybe. They might have taken the Barbary State's capital. Which I'll take as a, as a good thing. I mean, <laughs> as long as those troops weren't attacking me, I don't care. Okay, we might end up having to recruit... Oh yes, Venice. Go on, clear off. Trade! Unfettered trade! Finally! Isn't it beautiful? Although they may have just sailed off to go pick up an army. To... Which if they do, they do. There is unused land suitable Sweet. for plantations so, in this region. Sweet. Ignore that. Let's get to Ankara and build a drill school. Don't research carbines because that's useless. So you've got three turns before this is done. Do you go for explosive shells? Or do you go on to something like... Not utilitarianism. Well, they all make people unhappy, but... These guys make get new ports. Wealth generated by towns. Ooh. Government want my consent might be good for town town turn wealth. But trying to go for some quick wins on some industrial tax may be even better. A spinning journey might be useful. Just go for one. Actually, spinning journey is three turns, so it means they'll be ready to research something else when this is finished. Cool. Okay. Resist a drill school. Let's get the pleasure gardens instead. It's a lot of money, but it helps keep this happiness up. The only other thing I could build here is Ordnance Factory in Cairo, which I will build. Good stuff. So I don't know where the Brits are. They're somewhere. Yep, Persia's taking tuners. I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh no, actually I did say I was going to let's cancel that. Let's build some but a, a unit of Fellaheen and a unit of Isaris. If I move you out, you're very unhappy. Religious unrest has got to be pretty bad too. Four. Yeah, that certainly doesn't help. 
But I want to get rid of religious unrest here as slowly as it's going to be. I need to get rid of it here as well. So you've got a Pasha's Palace. Okay. I need to stay here for now. This is very much going to be an empire management part. <laughs> so there's their army. Yep, they've landed to the west, which is good, because there's nothing there's nothing valuable to the west. So they're going to have to march in to do anything about it. Or I could attack them. But yes. Right now, this has been a bit more of a of an upgradey part, investment part, which, as the Ottoman Empire, you do need to do, because you are a crumbling empire with no. You have no industry. You're a failing empire, so you need to actually spend some money to keep you keep you going. Yes, that's right. You take your scholar back. Oh, you're sending another one. Oh no, they're going up to your your school. The, the Mughals have actually taken back Hindustan from the Marathas. Let's turn up for the books. The Venetians are sitting west. Who are you going to attack? Oh, you're probably going to go to a trade region. Or they're going to go to India and sail and blockade me at Baghdad. That would show they've really got a... <laughs> they're really determined to get me. Someone's doing some recycling. Oh, there are Basic steam pump. Resources in this region that are no, I'm not agreeing you because you're too close to the front. But we do have a mine here. Can upgrade the plantation, but it's, well, it's not useless. It can still be exported from Turkey, from from Ankara. I, mean, I think I've still got to do it. Well, produce it. Well, it produces cotton for trade, and trade is still good. How's your army looking, Henry de Mosse? Oh God, that's a lot of elite troops. So one thing I might want to do is build okay, about two more demi cannons and build some riskers of souls to get our melee troops strong. So we can we'll have a fairly reasonable centre, but we can spin around the flanks and just attack them with melee troops. So Prussia's broken alliances with everybody. We've got another. Our other college is done. Don't go on to that. Coke fairness. Go on to measuring tools would be good. Ooh, that's really good. We don't need any more unhappiness just yet. Finally, do I finally build the cannon to foundry down there? Nordum. <laughs> minus three. <laughs> do I leave a unit of back to make it minus two? <laughs> so you guys to siege. Got a bunch of crap troops and Tartar cavalry. Um, you're going to maintain for now because we've got more concerns. Bigger things to worry about. Um, I think I must start to start to upgrade Jerusalem a bit because it's got walls at least. So if I lost Cairo for whatever reason, it'd be a useful fallback position because it can defend itself. Yeah, I'm going to do some recruiting here to top these guys up. Then we're going to go intercept Henry de Mosse because he's got the 33rd foot. He's got some Marines, Dragoons, Line, Demi, Demi Cannons. We've got some useful things. Uh, 
So they're still going to be outside of my area of concern. But, well, we can't really wait too long to intercept them. Because they could just be going back to Britain to pick up another reinforcing army. So we need to chop these guys up fairly rapidly. The Austrians are increasing the blockade. I would love, 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 love to make peace with Russia. So that way I don't have to worry about my east, the east, so much. Because we're friendly with Persia. Might even try ally with Persia. If they'll let me. We did have that brief war, which might be too much for them. I'm surprised Moldavia has been left alone as long as it has, but I suppose because it's such a pretty worthless region, there's no real point in holding it. From the Russian perspective, it gives them a border with the Austrian Empire, so they might not want the, the hassle. Ooh, they're selling out! Um, but... Looking at the timer, that would definitely take us over the length of this turn. So, sorry for it being a bit of a boring admin episode, guys, but, you know, these things got to be done sometimes. Um, but in the next part, we will slaughter the garrison at Yerevan with our canister shots. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.